the polar fiber minnow. An excellent bait fish for both fresh and salt water. This is our variation of it. Check it out right now. Okay, this is the polar fiber minnow, or at least our variation of it. It's a very popular pattern in salt water, but it also works in fresh water. And uh, we're gonna tie it in a high tie style. Um, you'll see it's kind of a, a design that, that uh, keeps the minnow from fouling on itself, which is a big problem with real flowy fiber. So let's just get going. Um, this is a really cool hook that we have in the vise. It is a uh, the, the Umqua X Series XS425. This one's a size 2, but as you can see, it's got that really nice short shank. It's kind of it's kind of has a little bend right here, so there's a nice flat spot to tie all your stuff in. The first thing we're going to do with this fly is we're going to tie in the gills. This is just floral fiber, and we're going to tie it in right up here. And we're going to bring it back to the tie-in point right there where my thread was. And we'll just roll that under the hook shank. And then I will pull this one back as well so that it's right next to it. Now, with these, I like to pull them straight up and put some thread wraps right here. And that should angle those upward just like that. So that's kind of the angle that the, the fly will hang off of this uh, this hook. So I'll trim them off just like that and then for the polar fiber as you can see I've tied a bunch of these this is the white and what I like to do is just use this Loon Ergo comb to kind of comb out the section that I want to cut off it, it helps you to to be organized when you tie that. Now when I when I cut that out, it's a naturally tapered, or not natural, it's a synthetic fiber, but it's tapered off of the, the pelt, if you will. Um, there were some longer fibers, I, I plucked those out, but you still have that nice taper. So clean it up so it looks about like this, and then I'm just going to tie that right on, right about here. And I'll trim the junk off of that one then I'm going to tie one more section of white into this so this section is a little more sparse than the first one just lay that right on top Trim that off. Okay, just about like that. Now, you can add a little bit of flash to this. You can use anything you want. Uh, Mirage flash is good uh, lateral scale or just uh, good old polar fibers that's what I've got right here but I think you can just use whatever you want and I'm going to tie that in right on top of the white and I'll just fold it on top of itself to have like a double layer of, of flash and I'll trim that the same length as the the minnow Moisten that down just to keep it together. Now for the top color. You can choose any color you want. I've got this. Uh, it's either camel or tan or beige or something. But that color. Um, and I'll farm out some just like I did the white. So as you can see it's it's really long back here. So I'll, I'll clean that out just like I did the other sections. Okay so it's going to sit just like this. Um, and on this one, I'm going to pre-trim it because it's so close to the eye of the hook. It's just It just makes for a cleaner tie-in point. So, as you can see, I just have a little nub of that. I'll do that 
do the pinch wrap technique. Grab that down. It's going to take me a couple tries. There we go. There we are, cinched down, and I'll just cover up those butt ends just like that. So now comes the fun part. We'll let this uh, just ride as is for now and whip finish it. Alright, so gotta take the Bob Marley lighter and I'm gonna pinch the whole head and I'm just going to lightly singe away any of those flyers there. We're gonna put epoxy on the head and, and if it's got those in the way, it will kind of gum up the, the whole head and make it not round and stuff. Alright, so we wanna have this fly kind of ride up like this. And as you can see with my fingers, as I pinch it, it flattens out the head and uh, creates exactly uh, the angle off the, the hook that I want. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'll just take a little bit of gel super glue and place my eyes very gently on this stuff. Try not to be all hands. Man, who's been using the super glue? all purple I wonder who that could have been and this gel super glue this Loctite gel man it is some fast curing stuff I like it though because you can just dab a little bit on the fly and it doesn't bleed into the rest of the fly it just sits there so that's about all I want because it's just there to kind of hold the fly in place for now or the the eye in place and I'll take my eye, I'll just lightly poke that on there, and then squeeze it, like that, and then I'll do it on the other side as well. Just enough to hold it. So you can see the eyes are on this now and it's got a really cool taper when it gets wet. The eyes help it stay tall like that so when it's in the water it rides how we want it to. Now I'm going to moisten my fingers a little bit and get all those fibers out of the way. You could color this. Should I color this fly? I think it would look cool. So I'm going to take like a sepia marker chart pack or prismacolor and I'm just going to come up and color the, the top a little bit darker just a little blendy blend not too much alright so now we're going to set this head exactly how we want it I'm going to take some thin resin from Solares and I'll start down here under the eye I'll build up that part just a little bit and now I can lift that fly up the way that I want it to orient off the hook and cure it and that should kind of lock it in right there so that we can just lightly go over the rest of the head. And I like to cover up the eye and maybe a little bit behind the eye as well. This is intense.
Okay, now I'm going to just rotate that and hit it with the light. All right, now this fly is going to ride real nice. Um, to finish it off, I'm just going to add a little bit of a like a gill plate, and I'm going to do that with a real fine tip sharpie, and I'll just draw a little line about like that. There you go. All right, so you have it, polar fiber minnow. It's uh, it's not a very hard fly to tie. If you tie a bunch of them, you get it down and crank them out in no time.